Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to explain the casting on a second screen wirelessly using a Google Chrome browser. It's a feature that's been there for a while and there are some difficulties. A lot of people have a hard time uh, understanding why it works, it doesn't work. You got to understand that first of all you got to have a compatible screen that needs to be connected to your Wi-Fi network. So a smart TV of some sort. Some smart TVs have a Chromecast that is integrated, which makes it uh, probably a little easier. Uh, Chromecasts are good for the casting. If you have a separate Chromecast on a, a, a normal TV, it's also a great way of casting a screen wirelessly. It works with your Wi-Fi. And one of the important aspects of this uh, casting is that the connection must be real good. So your Wi-Fi signal needs to be good. You need to check out your Wi-Fi, make sure that connectivity is really at the best. If all of that is met, once you go to Google Chrome browser, you have two ways of casting. Um, you'll have right click on your screen and you have the cast option. And here it's going to show a little icon on the top right display on another screen. It's going to show you the available screens. And one of the things that's important, you'll see that some are available, but some some will have maybe available for specific specific video uh, sites. That depends on the TV itself, how smart of a TV it is and capable of casting. Some will cast only with the same websites that have the apps integrated in them, like YouTube, Netflix. Some will cast the entire screen, whatever you're displaying. So for example, I've got an Android TV that's here at the top. If I click, it now is casting and I can see it here on my TV. And you'll see that it displays kind of a little blue circle with kind of a stop button in the middle. So as long as you have this working, you'll be able to um, you know, cast and see the screen. There could be a slight delay. Remember that playing games online through the browser with casting might not be the best thing because there is a slight delay. And it depends also on the power of your computer, your TV, and so on. And when you want to stop casting, you have the icon on the upper right corner where you can click. You'll see what is casting. You can click on it to stop casting and your TV will revert back to normal. Once again, you need to have good Wi-Fi connectivity your TV needs to be compatible for such casting. And uh, basically, it should work. If you have problems, say you were able to cast for a while and it doesn't work, I would suggest that, first of all, you could restart the computer. It is also sometimes useful to um, just unplug the TV, wait a few seconds, and plug the TV back into the wall socket for electricity. That will restart your smart TV, restart the connection with the router and might actually work well. If you have problems with casting, remember that your router is a center point here for that casting. It is the device that will actually be doing that, uh, will be sending that signal. And sometimes there are routers that might not work very well with that. You need a good quality router. If your router or wireless uh, connection is also part of your modem from the uh, internet service providers, sometimes that could cause problems also. So it's important to know that. But once that is set up, it's easy to cast a screen to uh, any TV that you have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.